Hey, hey, welcome to the second video here in the Google My Business section or the local SEO or snack pack section, wherever you want to call it. Uh, so I want to go over Google My Business. Uh, and before I show you, which I will in the end of this video, how to optimize one and how it looks like, I want to tell you about what I told you before. And actually before that, I want to tell you first, and I'm sure you know about this already, but the, the Google My Business allows us to put our website basically here. So when you search for, in this case, D Dallas Dentist or D Dallas Plumber, sorry, you'll get the ads and then you'll get this. And only after that, the, it, will you get the organic results. Okay, so this is an extremely valuable space. And this map pack only appears on, of course, uh, local search results. So if you, so if you were to search for a uh, plumbing salary in Dallas or something like that, uh, no local business would appear, would appear most likely. So this only works for local businesses and if, you're, and if the keyword you're searching for is related with local businesses. So again, you have the ads, then you have this, and only then you have the organic results. So our goal, of course, is to rank number one in the organic results and number one in the snack pack, which is how usually people call this space right here. And as you can see, let's just look at the first result right here. Uh, the name of the the company or the business is Dallas Plumbing Company. And I'm not sure if this is actually the name of the company or not, but like I told you, what most people do or what some people do is actually put their main keyword and then dash and the name of the company. As you can see, for example, as you can see, for example, the second result, they put the name of the company, dash, local and trusted plumber in Dallas. So they try to include their keyword in there. So this is against Google Terms of Services. You should only include the name of your business. But the truth is that having your keyword in the title of the business improves the rankings of your listing here in the map pack. Okay, so again, I'm not telling you should do this or not, but if you do so, you'll see a significant improvement in the rankings. Uh, the thing is that people and your competitors can report you for not having the actual business name, but this doesn't happen very often, so I don't think you have to worry about that. But again, I just wanted to be fully transparent with you and tell you that you can, in fact, do this. And it's great. It gives you some extra boost in the, in the map pack. So that's something you can do if you choose to. Something else you can notice is that, and I'll, I'll, and I'll be talking about this later on, is that, review, is that having more reviews doesn't necessarily mean you'll be ranked higher. As you can see here, the guy ranking number one only has 54 reviews and a total of 4.2 stars, while the guy ranking third has 300 plus reviews and 4.8 and, and he's ranking third. So there's multiple factors that come in when ranking here on the Google Maps section. Okay, but we'll be going over that in the following videos. So like I told you, in the world of SEO, these results are called the snack pack or the local tree pack or whatever. It's, let's just keep it simple and call it snack pack. And just like ranking your site organically, there's on page and off page. And I know this is a lot. This is a, this is a lot crammed here in just one slide, but this is extremely important. And we'll be covering this in the next following videos, as well as on the example I'll be showing you later on. But please pay attention to this. So. Regarding your on-page, this is where we optimize our local Google My Business listing. And I'll be going over this in a minute, but this is where you optimize your Google My Business listing. So first, before even optimizing, you need to have your site rank organically, ideally in the first page. Just like I told you in a previous video, if you're ranking on the 10th page versus a guy ranking on first page, it would be easier for a guy that's ranking on the first page to actually, to actually rank on the snack pack. Even though this isn't 100% correlated, it does have some impact. Then you want to make sure, and this again is on your site still, so the on page on your site, make sure your site mentions the location you're trying to rank for on GMB, so also on the local snack pack. So if you're, if you're trying to, and this is pretty straightforward, of course, if you have a, if you have a site about plumbing and you want, you, and you want to target Dallas, of course, you'll have uh, your location on the bottom or in the articles saying you're, you're a plumbing company from Dallas. But some people forget about this, so I felt like it was necessary to, to mention this again. Then the third point, this one is regarding the Google My Business. So when you're setting up your Google My Business, you need to make sure you have detailed info about the company. So you need to fill all of the blanks, everything. Business hours, contacts, location, service areas, description, all the services provided. And again, we'll be going over this in example I'll be giving you later, but you need to fill everything, every single thing that Google gives you. Because if Google gives you things to fill in, it's because it's needed. So you need to fill everything. Don't leave anything blank and make sure you fill it with proper information. Then Google also allows you to create a free google.business site, which I recommend you do so. And again, I'll show you in a minute how you can get that done, but make sure that you take advantage of every single thing Google gives you. 
then you want to make sure you use the post function. So you, so when you create a Google My Business listing, Google allows you to create posts. So make sure you create post, posts that are keyword rich. So don't just make a post that's irrelevant to your niche. Make a post that has an image, that has, that has actual content and valuable content. Make sure you sprinkle your keywords on there. So for example, if you were listing, if you were a, if you were, if you had a Google My Business for a plumbing company in Dallas, make sure you sprinkle that keyword on the post and make sure you have a call to action, either for people to visit your site or to, uh, or to, or to give it a call. And again, we'll be going over an example in just a bit after I explain to you what you need to do with rega regarding the off page. Then uh, make sure your business categories are the same or similar to the guy that's ranking on top. So if you have a plumbing company, again, let's let's stick with this example. And and this and let's say these three guys right here, all all of their categories are 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 plumber and drainage company, for example. Make sure you choose the same categories as them. And and plumbing might not be the best example, but there are some business niches where the categories you can choose are a bit sort of inconclusive. So make sure you choose the ones of the guys that are ranking first, because if they're ranking first, they must be doing something right. And that's also a good point of reference. If you're somewhat confused of which category to choose, just go ahead and choose the ones from the guys that are ranking first. And then you need to make sure you add several photos. Make sure that the keyword, <clears throat> sorry, is in the file name, like we told you, like I told you before. And you can also geotag the images if you want by going to uh, geoimger.com. Um, this is some, this is an extra step you can do uh, to make the images more relevant to the location you're targeting. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but we'll be, but we'll be going over this in just a minute. After that, uh, reviews, reviews, reviews. Make sure your reviews have keywords sprinkled in them. And we'll be going, we'll be having a video just about reviews. But make sure when a person leaves a review, it it uh, he or she uh, sprinkles either your business name or your keywords. Make sure to use real reviews because Google knows when you're using fake reviews. So try at least to act legit if you're buying them. But but ideally, you'd be getting reviews from real people that actually tried your business. But if you want to risk it and go with uh, fake bot reviews, you can do so. But again, we'll be having a video just on reviews, which I'll be going a little bit more in depth in uh, in that. Also make sure, of course, to reply to the reviews. Then finally, we have uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, so you can, add, you can add an FAQ to your business. So make sure you add them ha having your keyword in the, in the title. So for example, uh, What's the price of a plumber in Dallas would be a frequently asked question and you can just um, type out uh, the, an interval of prices, for example. So that concludes the on page. Like I told you, I'll be going over an example in a bit and I'll be having videos just focused on reviews and all the other stuff we just talked about here. Now off page, what do you need to do regarding the off page? You need to have local citations and we have a video just on citations. So don't worry too much about it now, but basically you need to register your business on Yelp, Foursquare, Bing, etc. Uh, make sure you're consistent again, make sure you use all the same NAP across all of them. So the name, address and phone number must be the same so that you don't confuse Google. And this is something we'll be covering on the uh, citations video, but try and copy the citations from your competitor. Because if you have all the ones they have plus some more, you'll for sure have an advantage. Also, you can go for local and non-local business citations, but we'll be talking about that later on. Then we have something called custom map pin citations, which I won't talk about now, but I'll be talking about in a dedicated video just for that. Then you have map embeds on Web 2.0s and strong PBNs, which we'll be talking about when we talk about the map pin citations. But not only can you embed those custom maps, you can also embed the map Google gives you. Then that same map, make sure you embed it on your site. On the footer, have that map embedded, as well as the name, address and phone number. Most local sites have this. Uh, so. It's a must, both so that people know where you are and what's your phone, but it works as well as a signal for Google. You can also do some tier twos and power up your citations. And in, and in the video about citations, we'll be talking about this. I just wanted you to be aware that we can actually use this. And that concludes the off page. So now let's take a look at an actual example of a Google My Business. And everything I talked about here, uh, there's going to be videos on this, both on page and off page. So don't, uh, so don't be scared. I know this is uh, too much information, but don't worry. I'll be going over in detail on everything, on every single thing we talked about here. So that being said, let's go take a look at an example of a Google My Business. Okay, so before I show you the actual listing, let me show you how you can create one. Just type Google My Business in Google and just click the first link and you'll be redirected here. Uh, this is in, okay, this is in English now. And just click, uh, I think, Manage Now. It's, it's, it, this is pretty straightforward, just, yeah, exactly. 
and just uh, sign in with your uh, with your Gmail account and you'll be prompted to uh, follow every single step in order to create an actual Google My Business account. It's again pretty straightforward. I, I don't think it makes sense for me to go over how to create one, but I'll go over how to optimize one, which is the interesting part. So we're here. This one is from an old business. I don't think it's up right now. I kind of let it go. It's still getting some views, but yeah, I think this is a perfect example for me to show you uh, what, you what you actually get when creating one. So you have the homepage tab where you can see some performance indicators. You can also create posts like I, like I told you, you can add photos, you, you can create an ad. So if you just scroll down, there's a bunch of information you can check. You can also check reviews. This is sort of the, uh, the, the main dashboard. Now moving on to posts. Like I told you, you want to make sure you create valuable posts. This one is in Portuguese, but I think you can understand uh, this is just an image from a location. And then you have an optimized description uh, regarding your site. You can have some you can also have some hashtags. You can include your you need to include your keyword inside to make it more relevant and then have a call to action. Either a call now or or where people can click to go to your website. And just create a bunch of posts. Ideally, you'd be creating posts every week, two or three posts every week, in order to make your listing relevant. The idea here, again, is that you need to make sure you take advantage of every single uh, tool Google gives you. So, for example, lately with the COVID, uh, Google gave you an option to uh, give your customers a COVID update. So make sure you get that done, okay? You can also add offers, add updates, add events, add products. You have, you have a couple of things you can do, and I recommend you do them all, okay? Because if they're here they're necessary. And if you're doing all this, you're probably ahead of most of local businesses that don't even bother uh, in doing this. For example, creating posts or, or events or updates. Most people don't even bother doing this. So so make sure you, you get that done so you can have the advantage over your competitors. And of course, it's not posting. It's not just posting on on your on your Google My Business that will, that will give you the advantage. It's several things. So several different factors. As you know, Google takes into account different factors. But what we want to do is to give Google all these factors one by one. So, so a little bit here, a little bit there. And if you add them all up, they can contribute to get you ranked. So make sure you get all of this done. Then when you come to here to info, here's the business name. Then of course you can add some service areas. So if you're only targeting a city, you can maybe write suburbs, suburbs in here. That depends on the country you are, if you're in the United States or not. But I think you get what I'm saying. Make sure you fill all this in course make sure you fill the hours in these are some special days maybe holidays i think then of course add your number here is where you can add your business handle so just like instagram or facebook you get to create a handle then add your website url and any oh, and any appointment link so this is where you link your contact page then products and services you can click here to add different products depending on your niche you'll have you'll have products or services so in this case because this is a plumbing company they only have services so you'll be adding services instead of products. But of course, if, you're, if you also provide products, you can also add them here. What I want you to focus here is that you need to uh, fill this all out as much as you can. And as you can see, there are some things that I haven't filled here because I, I kind of let this one go. Uh, then you also have highlights, health and safety, service options. You can, you, can, you, can all, you can add all these ones in. So make sure these ones are all filled. Then business description. This is where you can create, and sorry because this is in Portuguese, but this is where you can create an optimized SEO description. So write about your business, write about wh when it started. Make sure you sprinkle your keywords in there. Make sure you have your locations, your services, your phone numbers. Treat this like the place where you give Google the most relevant info you can. So business name, where it started, locations, your services, how you provide those services, to where, to what people. Just over-optimize this as much as you can. And then you can add an opening date as well as adding some photos. But we'll be covering that in a bit. Now going over here to insights, you can check the insights of the page, of course. Uh, this one's still getting a couple of searches, okay. Uh, now reviews. And like I told you, we'll be having a, a video just on reviews, but this is a place where you can check and reply to your reviews. Uh, make sure you reply to the reviews using your keywords, but again, we'll be covering that in the later video. Then you have messages. I think you have to have the application for this, but basically people can directly can message you directly on your Google My Business. Then you have photos. You need to make sure you add a, you add a bunch of photos. Okay, this one right here has photos, it has videos, has a bunch of them. And as you can see, they're getting 7,000, 2,000, 3,000, 13,000, 13,000 clicks or views. So this is great. Okay, if you add them all up, so 13,000 plus 7,000 plus plus 3K, 2K. Uh, 
more or less 2k over here as well the videos if you add them all up this, this is a bunch of views and google loves this okay so add photos add photos of your company add photos of of the of the offices of people working so at work team identity which are the logos and covers make sure you fill this all out and add as many as you can in a way of course it makes sense now moving on to products just like i told you you can add products based on your based on your niche you can also add services the idea here is the idea here is if you have them make sure to add them okay don't leave this blank then this is the website google lets you have which is the google my business website this is some this is an editor where you can edit the actual site here uh, just a straightforward site all your posts will be automatically syndicated here as well as your reviews i think we can view the site live let's just check it so it will be your business name dot business dot site um sorry this is in portuguese let me just translate this to english okay so it's a simple site you can call people you can you can call the business you can schedule an appointment just make sure you get this created it's it's quite simple this one is this is everything Everything here is done automatically by Google, so these posts again are automatically syndicated here, as well as the reviews and the business description, as well as your gallery. Uh, so make sure you get this one created as well, because I know I'm, I'm repeating myself, but make sure you make use of everything Google gives you. Then you also have users and some more information that uh, it's not really relevant other than the managed locations. This is if you have more than one location, make sure you fill it in so that Google knows where your business is actually providing services to people. So this works best for uh, services where you go to the business goes to the client. So for example, a plumbing company where the plumbers actually go to people's houses. It's not it's not so much for um, dental clinics, for example, where the actual client goes uh, to the to the place to be to have a service done on him. So this is more or less for companies that that go to clients' houses. And that's basically it. This is how you optimize your business uh, listing. I know it's a pretty straightforward video. And if you and if you created your Google My Business yourself, yourself, you'd most likely understand what to do. Uh, but again, I wanted to emphasize the fact that you need to fill every single thing out. Everything you know about your business, every business hour, description, services, photos, add as much information as you want. Because information is important to Google. You want to give Google as much information as you have. And that's basically it. Uh, this is how you optimize your Google My Business. Uh, in the following videos, you will be going over a couple of strategies to actually boost your Google My Business listing. But it's quite, it, but it's very important that your Google My Business listing is fully optimized before you move on to the following videos. So before you move on, before you watch the next ones, make sure your listing is 100% optimized. Okay, that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the group and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.